design plays a critical role in technology, providing a technically complex device with a user-friendly experience and an appealing exterior is no easy task. The final shape of a smartphone is only the last step in a long chain of prototypes and tests aiming to reach the best solution for consumers. We had the opportunity to meet Alberto Villarreal, the lead designer behind Google's latest device designs, to get an insight into the evolution of a smartphone, specifically the Pixel 2 XL. Alberto, what's your background in terms of design? So I'm uh, working at Google for the last five years, uh, basically working on mobile devices. Uh, before that, I've been a design consultant Uh, working on very different industries for consumer electronics sometimes and also interior architecture, sports products, different things, but most of the time in uh, consumer electronics. Tell me a little bit about uh, the design secrets and thoughts on the Google Pixel 2. So Pixel 2 really represents years of development um, on mobile devices at Google. It really brings together artificial intelligence, software and hardware and industrial design uh, in a tangible packet. And I'm really excited. I'm, I think this is a design that we've been really, really working uh, very carefully to pull off. It's, um, it's a very iconic design that, is, that represents the, the, the brand values very well. I think we're trying to make technology more approachable, more human. Sometimes these, these products have enormous capabilities, enormous computing power and processing power, and they're very complex inside. We want to make it effortless for the user. We want to make it very approachable and not intimidating, not overwhelming. And that's something that we've been working very uh, intentionally about. Uh, The way we use we use color uh, in this is a fashionable way, but it's also very very uh, calm and sophisticated at the same time. It's not only about the smartphone; it's also about the accessories and um, uh, additional gadgets like uh, Google Home Mini, the Pixel Buds, the cases. Um, where is the common uh, design uh, language for uh, these products? Yeah, I think as you can see in the whole product family, we are treating, uh, we're extending this use of, of materiality and colors and finishes that have a lot of texture and tactility uh, from the, the fabric on the cases to the fabric on the speakers or even on the headset to the way we're using colors in, in this very calm but also very expressive and fashionable way. It's an sort of minimalistic way, but very pragmatic. Um, the, the reason to have glass and then metal comes from the functionality of the antenna performance and also the area where you, where you put your hand. So we're semantically trying to guide the user through the journey of using the product. And it comes across also in other products. In, in Google Home, for example, the, the, the bottom part is the speaker, the top part is the area where you interact with touch, which is the reason to have this double material at the same time. So again, it's a very approachable, but also in a very functional and pragmatic way. So designed by Google is actually a whole line of products with a specific design language. Yeah, and we're also bringing a little bit of optimism to it. Like, you know, we have these touches of color that are um, sparks of little moments. Uh, for example, you lift the speaker and you see there's this um, orange tone there. Or when you open these cases, you see that there is a color inside that is kind of a moment for discovery for the user. And yeah, it's, it's a little bit of that expression, but also ways to make these, these products more enjoyable and delightful to use. So we're sitting here uh, to the uh, finished product, sort of the final stage is to roll out it to the user. But yeah. how do you approach this, uh, this state? How is the design process of a smartphone? Can you fill us in a little bit about this? Yeah, sure. So we work very closely with our product management team, with the different engineering teams, camera teams, antenna teams, um, mechanical engineering, and with our vendors as well, to 
define the specifications and the dimensions and then we go back and forth. I think the industrial design team spends a lot of time prototyping and testing and doing exploring forms and form factors and how seeing how these forms fit in your hand how you know is the, is the fingerprint sensor in a location that's comfortable for different hands different sizes are the buttons in a layout that is consistent from a previous generation of product to the new one and then working closely with these teams we are able to develop features like the active edge that you squeeze the phone and you get the Google Assistant right there. And we wanted to do it like that so that is the closest and easiest way for the user to, to activate the, the Assistant. And the Google Assistant is obviously something that brings and ties all these products together. Whether you are in the kitchen with your uh, hands occupied, you activate it through voice with the speakers, or you're working uh, on, a, on the laptop and you have a dedicated key on the keyboard to launch the assistant, or if you're on the go with your phone in your hand, you just squeeze it and you have the assistant there. And that consistent experience, I think, is something that we're paying a lot of attention to, to deliver to our users. Alberto's approach is defined by a loving attention to detail in order to give buyers an added value and a sense of identification. Focusing the brand on this vision can be an indication of what we can expect in future designs. High-end technology that's easy to use for anyone.